All right, what is up everyone? It's Sam from 64 Wheels back with a very exciting Japanese Back to the Future exclusive. These are the Bandai capsule cars. So they almost look like little Pokeballs. Um, there you can kind of see like there's the front bumper. There is the back of the DeLorean right there. Um, really exciting. So I got these, I, I have a very big 164th Back to the Future collection. I have all the versions of the Back to the Future DeLorean in 164 scale from every manufacturer like Hot Wheels, Bandai, Tomica, anyone, Universal Studios. So I have them all and I'll be doing a collection update at some point. But I wanted to show you these because I just got them from, um, they came from Hong Kong and they, I believe they're exclusive to that side of the world. Um, they're really cool. I found them searching on eBay. They were 55 to $60 for all three shipped to, to the United States. So um, they're really interesting. I've never seen anything like this in the United States. So it was cool to come across them. Um, but they look like they have a lot of details and that they are very close to 164 scale. As you can see there, that's not too big. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what they look like put together. So supposedly all three of these are from Back to Future 1, 2, and 3. So I don't know which ones are which. The outsides of them all look very similar. Um, so I don't know, but the insides um, are are different. So there's no as like I don't know if there's like a buyer's guide or anything to them because they don't have um, any information on them. Or maybe at one point they actually had like a, another wrapper on them because I can kind of see their they've opened. So maybe the buyer actually um, the original buyer actually opened them and can like confirm that they were parts one, two, and three. So I'm gonna open two of them and put them together, and then I'm gonna save one for TikTok to show what it actually looks like on TikTok to put one together. So. Let's go ahead and dig into these. So uh, I, I don't really know where to start. I'm a little nervous. I hope all three versions are here. So let's go ahead and just pop on, pop it on open. Oh, let's see here. Cool. So there is, so, oh, nice. I opened the very first one. So this is the Back to the Future 1 DeLorean. As you can see there, there is the hook as opposed to the Mr. Fusion. And there's what the car looks like. So they're called capsule cars because they're kept kept in this little capsule, like this little ball. So let's go ahead and pull the parts out and see. So nice. So it's a little bit bigger than 164 scale, but it's still in the same range. So I'm glad I got it. Like, look at the detail on those. That's pretty nice. So they are all plastic. Like this is not, I don't think this is die cast at all. It's all plastic. Um, and you get to assemble them, which is cool. So oh, there is the main um, like body, there's the interior. And the cool part about these, even though they don't have windows, oh, the doors open, which um, I don't think any 164 scale Back to the Future style DeLorean has opening doors. I know there are Hot Wheels version that have opening doors as well as Z or Xylem X, um, but they're not Back to the Future, they're just stock DeLorean. So this is kind of cool. This might be the first like around, this might be closer to 155th scale. Either way, I'm really excited about this. This is awesome. So look at the detail. They're pretty detailed. Um, that almost looks like a mini model. Very cool. There's the seat backs. Nice. I mean, it looks good. The paint already looks good on them. Oh, let's see what it says here. You can read it. It says Universal Studios LLC, Amblin Entertainment, blah, 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 all rights reserved. So cool. Okay. Nice. Like, look how awesome that's packaged in there. The, the wheels and the tires are in combination in the bottom. There are the little, like, I can't remember what they actually call those. Um, just like the little exhaust exits on the back of the car. Everything is packed in there so tight. I'm glad, like, I'm not putting this back in there because I probably would never figure out how to get that back in there. So let's pop these out and see how they go. This is awesome because it's almost like a better Lego because it's not square. Like, it's not like Lego shaped, but you almost get to put it together like a Lego. Oh, sweet. Nice. So there's the wheels. Very cool. Okay. So I think that's it. Let me see if I can push the hook out without. Mm. Mm. I might have to use a little tool or something to get that one out. Let's see if I can push it out. Uh, cool. So it's very self-sufficient. So you can get everything out. So there's the hook. Here's the main piece. So it looks like it's very easy to put together. It looks like it just snaps together in like three parts, but it does come with this little teeny tiny instruction booklet, which is awesome. So let's look at this one first. This is a choking hazard warning, multiple um, language. Awesome. So there it is right there. So there's part three, 
part two, part one. So here is Back to the Future part one. Very cool. Okay. So there is no, like, that might be instructions on how to assemble it right there. Um, but it says news, so I don't know. That's awesome. I don't know if that's, like, an exclusive. If you, like, mail in, you get the little Marty figure. But there's all three of them together. Nice. Okay, so let's put it together. It looks pretty simple. So this looks like it just snaps into here. Just like that, it does. That's awesome. So then these look like they just snap together as well. Mm, maybe, probably. Am I doing this wrong? Let's see. There it goes. Make sure I do it right. There it goes. Snaps in just like that. That is awesome. Look at that. Oh, snap. That is so cool. Man, that's really detailed for being all plastic. Looks really good. So let me make sure I have this all together. I'm not sure. I, there it goes. Make sure I snap it all in. Nice. Cool. Okay, let's put the little... I don't know if they're are they the same. Let's check it out. Yes, they are left and right, so... Put that in there. That in there. I don't know if they go any farther. I think that's it. Cool. Look at that. Dude, that's awesome. I wish they sold these in the States. These are so cool. I definitely would buy more of these. So I assume that the wheels just snap on. Right? Ooh. Let's see. They're like, they're square on the back. So they just fit into this little peg right here. Just like that. Nice. See, I don't know if it rolls or not. I don't think they do roll. No, I think this might be static. This might be like a desk toy version. Let's see. Oh, I guess they could roll if you wanted to, but I think it's meant to, meant to be static. Oh, the back ones roll. Oh, maybe I messed it up. Okay, so my bad. I think I did. I think I put the wrong ones. Yeah, so there's a small tire on the front. There's a big tire on the back. So I flipped these side around. I probably should have paid attention to that. But they are, like, it is forgiving. So I can, like, so if you buy one, you definitely know that you can take it apart again. Technically, you could probably put it back together in the capsule. Sweet. Look at that. That's a really nice looking DeLorean. So it sticks together pretty good. I'm sure if you like wanted to glue it together, you could. Like, look at the detail on that. Nice. These are begging for extra like paint or even marker detail to color on them. Like, cause they're they're really nice. The base is nice. It's almost like a snap together model kit, but just smaller size. So see the doors open. Oh, that is pretty rad. Look at that. The floor detail, like the holes in the floors, kind of sucks a little. But other than that, I mean, even when you set it on the floor right there, like you, you can't really see. The shadows take care of it. Cool, all right, let's do the final touch and put the hook in. So the hook just snaps into a little hole right there. Pretty easy, and boom! The Back to the Future 1 DeLorean by Bandai. Nice! That is so cool. So if you are watching this from um, Asia, Hong Kong, Japan, anywhere over that side of the world, um, are these type of capsule cars or capsule toys common? Let me know in the comments because I don't, I've never seen them before now, but it looked like that was kind of a common thing. Like it didn't look like it was limited edition or anything like that. So um, let me know if you know more about these in the comments because I think they're pretty cool. So that is so killer that the doors open. Awesome. I really like that. It sits just right. Like they did a really nice job on the detail of it all. Nice. I like it. Okay. So let's open another one. Cool. Okay. Let's open this one. So it should be the, the almost the exact same thing, but either version one or two. So let's see which one this is. Oh, oh, nice. So this is version three. 
Oh, sweet. Okay. Look at that. The time circuit stuff on the hood. It's got some really nice detail on it. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm going to open this up and see if there's anything different about it or if it just has the different... Yeah, so it looks exactly the same. I don't think there's anything different about it other than that this version is number three. So the one I didn't open is number two. So if you want to see number two, go to TikTok and I'll open that one there. But let's go ahead and put together the three version. So let's see, this comes with the awesome, the white wall with the red wheels. I think the three, the um, all Mr. Fusion in there too. Doot doot. Okay, finally got the fourth one out there. So nice, look at those. Nice red wheels with the white walls. Looks good. Cool, so everything else appears to be the same other than obviously the part three, um, like the time circuits on the hood. Cool, so this should snap together. Same thing, the door is open. I'm gonna try to put this part on first because this seemed to be the hardest part right here is getting it in the center. There it goes. Snap there. Then push it together. Total, awesome. Looks good. Let's put these on. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite Back to the Future movie? Like which one is your favorite? Um, let's see, these almost look like they're all the same size. I don't want to mess up again like I did on the first one. I think they are all the same. Cool, let's give it a shot. I'm gonna try it. Oh, this one, oh my gosh, that is so cool. So for fans of the movie, you'll know that Back to the Future 3, this is the car they drive in um, the desert. It's the one, I mean, it's kind of a short scene actually. It doesn't stay with these wheels on there very long. It's basically when they Marty runs from the um, the cowboys and Indians there and then hides in the cave and then after that they kind of switch it to the railroad wheels So you don't really see um, a lot of this car But the parts you do see it's actually I think it's on a Volkswagen chassis of some sort in real life And the wheels It actually sits up higher than the stock DeLorean did for the other movies And they have replicated this in this stance of where like the tires are a little off the ground Like the suspension looks a little raised compared to the um, first version where it does look a little lowered So that is very nice touch um, I really like the detail they added for that That's pretty cool Because that ex is exactly how it looks Like it kind of was jacked up in the front It looked like it was higher really nailed that so this one the one different thing this one has is the uh, mr fusion so it comes just kind of like that and then you just stick it in the slot nice look at that and there is part three that is so cool they nailed the look of this one absolutely nailed it they did a really good job on the part one one also that looks so good very cool so there is the part one and the part three DeLoreans by Bandai Capsule Cars. That is so cool. Nice, let me know what you think of these in the comments. I like these, I like that they're models. I think these would do pretty well in the United States, especially if they were almost like mystery, like you had to buy, you know, uh, actually open it to find out which one it was, because mystery stuff is pretty big. Like the, the mystery packets or like, what was the, I can't remember what the one, like the LOL surprise balls a couple years ago, those are huge for kids for Christmas. So I think these might do pretty well in the States right now, especially with uh, a lot of kids doing homeschool and people like looking to put more models together, even though these don't take a lot of time, they're simple and the, I think they pay off. Like this is cool, $55 for the set shipped is a lot, but if let's say if these were, I mean these would probably be $9.99 is my guess or around $10 in the United States, probably, probably. So you're probably looking at anywhere from 20 to $30 is what I think we would probably pay for them. So with shipping and the fact that we can't get them here, I think that was a fair price and they're cool. The doors open, I like the fact that they are models. They look really accurate. And if you wanted to dig in and detail them even more, you could. These are awesome. So yeah, let me know what you think of these down in the comments or if you have them or if you're gonna buy them after seeing this. 
uh, because I really like them. I think they're cool. They're definitely a good addition to my Back to the Future collection. Now they are a little bit bigger than 164 scale, which I was a little worried about because uh, online, especially with the translation, it's really hard to tell what scale some stuff is sometimes because I know I have three or four more DeLoreans coming from Japan that are Tomicas, and that says 164 scale, but those actually looked a little small. So these were a little on the big side, those are a little on the small side. So when I get those, I'm gonna do an unboxing of those two to show you, um, because they're all brand new, I believe. So this is cool, I like these. Now, I don't know what you do, like if you keep these or if they're like collectible, I don't know. I'm not sure what to do with these. Please tell me in the comments if you know anything about these, because I'm. this is the first time I have my hands on a set, so, I like them. I'm, I'm going to have to do some research after this to to see if this is a big thing over in Asia or if this is like a kind of like a one-off or a novelty thing. I don't know. So, cool. Well, that was the Back to the Future Bandai 3 capsule car set. I'm going to open the third one, which should be the Back to the Future 2 version. And I think that one snaps down and has um, hover mode to it. I can't remember, but I think it does. I think that was part of the, um, the ad on eBay when I bought them. So... If you want to see that one, go to my TikTok. It's the same thing as my um, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, 64 Wheels. We have a lot of fun over there. So, man, this was cool. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate you watching. I have a ton more Back to the Future stuff I need to open. I just got the um, Amazon exclusive Hot Wheels hoverboard that I'm going to like unbox sometime soon. Um, like I said, I have those Japan Back to the Future Tomicas coming. So, if you like Back to the Future stuff, definitely stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. So, cool. Well, I appreciate you watching. Again, like, subscribe. Uh, 64 Reels on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Drive Tribe, Lamely Group, all that good stuff. Should have a lot more uh, content coming up here soon. So, we'll see you in the future.